YouTube. Welcome to Bama's Very Own Speaks. I am Bama's Very Own, back again with an ever so important video for the people, for the culture. You know, there has always been this sentiment in the black community when a black man decides to date or marry outside of his race, and particularly the white woman. I mean, there's a lot of sisters out there that don't agree with it, and if you type in swirlers or interracial dating here on YouTube, you will find many videos discussing this topic. But what I think gets lost in the sauce is the lighter-skinned women being the undercover white woman to the successful black man. Let me say that again. The lighter-skinned woman being the undercover white woman to the successful black man. Now, what do I mean by that? Many times when a black man elevates his status or he reaches a certain level of success and starts to make more money or moves to another place and, you know, it's different from his upbringing, maybe. Then many different races of women will start to be attracted to him, all right? Now, let me just get this situated and, and it's straighten out, all right? Because a lot of sisters that uh, think since when a black man dated outside his race that, oh, they just want him for his money and left the black sisters. What about the sisters? No, okay? All of these different races of women love the black man anyway. They love him anyway. But the difference between other races and black women is that other races, if that black man doesn't have a certain level of success or make a certain amount or he didn't see she didn't see potential in him, then they won't they won't mess with him. Doesn't mean that they're not attracted to him. Don't mean they won't see him in as a sexual creature, but once he makes himself more worthy and successful then then that opens them up because that's they, they're going outside their comfort zone too especially for a lot of the white women she maybe she that white woman is the only woman in her family that's dating a black man so that's a means to justify but most of all of them find black men attractive okay so let's just get that straightened out so once he reaches his status his, his pool becomes a lot a lot, a lot bigger. It's a lot more uh, pickings. So naturally, especially if that black man is not used to, you know, experimenting with di uh, different races of women, then he will experiment. Now, regardless of whatever you may hear, when if any successful man, okay, <laughs> and I'm not just talking about celebrities or anything. I'm just talking about guys that really elevate their game, even the common man. But most of them do a spearmint, all right? Not all of them. I'm not going to say all of them. Most of them do a spearmint because they want to know what the other side is like, you know, even if they end up coming back. So they they would experiment. And once they experiment, a lot of these guys end up not coming back. They end up not coming back to the black woman. You know, they say, hey, most of them attitude is, hey, I made it this far. I did it without any of the help from the people that... Uh, I came up with, I, I love who I love, and this person loves me, and I can care less, so I'm gonna marry this white woman. <laughs> and that's just how they, they don't really care. Once they get a little taste, it's a wrap. See the different feminist side of white women that they didn't see in black women, or whatever the case may be. You know, they end up just saying, forget it, I don't care, I'm gonna love who I wanna love and date who I wanna date. But Regardless of what the media says and what's out there, most black men, successful black men, end up going and ended up with a sister, okay? Not all black men just totally switch over. And a lot of it is because they don't, they feel like maybe had people that supported them back in the neighborhood, their family, their, their, uh, their friends, and they won't let them down by getting with the white woman. A lot of times they would will maybe find a compatible woman outside their race, but it's just like they can't have too much invested in today. They really care about their perception and how they're viewed by their family and friends. So they end up 
coming back and settling with a black woman because believe it or not people do make decisions based off uh, some people make decisions based off uh, how they're viewed by their family and friends so the next best thing to that is the lighter skinned woman I say lighter skin and I didn't say the light skin I said a lighter skinned woman alright because if you look at some of these NFL players NBA players your favorite rapper uh, entertainer singer actor uh, even some of the i'm not just saying these just celebrity guys just to give you guys examples but even to the local corporate america successful black man or the businessman usually what you'll see on their arm is a lighter skin biracial mo- a lot of biracial or latino hispanic mix type of woman just look I'm showing you some of the some of the pictures are just everyday celebrity. But think about your favorite if you a black woman listening to this. Think about your favorite celebrity athlete or your NFL player, basketball player, NBA, or whatever. Most of the time, these guys are dating, are marrying biracial, <laughs> lighter skinned women. All right? They're not marrying the women that have the same type of skin tone they're marrying these latino chicks these biracial chicks and some of sometimes white chicks that you know that do a pretty good job of tanning or whatnot and i think that sentiment is ingrained in the black community that lighter is better okay lighter is better and some people have an issue with that but like we don't most black women don't have the same outrage about these guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Y'all may not believe me, but I'm telling you, like, a lot of these guys have messed with white women and, and you know, they may not necessarily uh, like the features on a, on, a, on a white woman or whatnot, but they like, you know, they like that lighter skin and that long hair. That's why you see a lot of these celebrities all with lighter skin, biracial, Latino type. And then I just think that especially if she's Latino and she has a little darker skin complexion, not really a white woman, I think they get a pass. <laughs> and I think this is I think for a lot of these guys it's the same thing. The exact same thing. Still the veneration of the white woman. And some of these celebrities would not have the resources, especially with plastic surgery being what it is today, they'll take that biracial chick and like let's just say this. Back in the day, and some of the fellas been knowing, you know, you may see this. Of course, like a lot of brothers always like the Gina Waters from Martin type of chicks, the Holly Berry type of chicks, you know, the lighter skinned chicks. But what are, what what are the uh, what are the cons of liking these chicks? You're a, a pretty light skinned chick, and you look behind, and you look at her butt, and usually like a white girl, right? <laughs> Flat, you know what I mean? You know she got some breasts going on or whatnot. But a lot of black men like the curly hair and lighter skin. But with plastic surgery being what it is, they can almost take the darker skin girl woman features because let's just be honest, all right? The darker skin woman have the better body features, okay? So they can they can able to get get put a a nice butt on her, you know, nice hips on her, nice curves by plastic surgery. If she need a boob job, get her a boob job, and and that's why a lot of this skin lightening, skin cream. See some of the. Black women, the darker women are up on game, all right? Because they notice the difference. They're like, hey, I'm beautiful. I have these curves, but why am I not getting chose? Why am I not getting the attention that these lighter girls getting? So they start to bleach their skin, the skin cream, the skin lighting the creams. So a lot of females doing this to get that that look. Lighter skin, long hair. Uh, a lot of them wear contacts. Look at Tiny, T.I.'s wife. She went and got a, and she got her daughter to do it. She went and got a surgery to make her eyes green. She was already light skinned. Look at her patch of surgeries and her nose jobs and whatnot like that. Look at Ice T. He just went out straight out to her. He married a uh, white woman, but her assets <laughs> is all plastic. A lot of them, they say, I heard that her booty is not real or, or, or actually is real, but I don't doubt. Uh, come on, man. A lot of these guys, especially they have the resources to build them, they build a bear type chick. So think about your favorite slave. Even Lil Wayne said it back in the old video. I like a long, half thick red bone. The red bone has been venerated. 
And it's really just a veneration of a white woman. All right? I think a lot of these guys know that if they really went with a white woman, it would be shunned by the communities that support them. Now, I know some people may say, oh, well, maybe they just their preference. Maybe they just their preference. Come on, all right? Let me tell you how I don't think that's their preference. Look at who a lot of these guys were with before they made it, before they really started to make their money, okay? If you go back and look at a lot of these guys' exes or baby mothers or ex-wives, I wouldn't say regular, but, you know, a darker skin tone of woman, more black woman, what most black women are, all right? Look at Lil Wayne. His ex-wife was Toya, very beautiful dark skin. Uh, female, sexy, all right, beautiful, but he <laughs> he is the biggest advocator for I like a long hair, thick red bone. He, you, it's plenty of interviews with him saying he only like red women, but the chick that was with you before you really really made it was a darker skinned woman, and you loved her, and now you all you want to talk about is red bone, but your your daughter is a darker skinned black woman, beautiful black woman, all right? Look at Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, a wife, I forget her name, but she's a darker skinned, natural hair, beautiful black woman, all right? But he had, he went off and married this light skinned mix, whatever her name is, I don't know her name, uh, Nico Hart or something like that, but left his wife and she was with him through the come up. A lot of these athletes, a lot of their baby mamas at high school sweethearts are brown skin, darker skin women. But once they make it, they're not dealing with anything with these, I think, undercover white women. Like, that's just my opinion, all right? Now, I'm not saying maybe for all of them, but just look at it, it's too common. And a lot of these women who support these celebrities or whatnot, and that's their favorite rapper, that's their favorite actor, and that's their favorite whatever, whatever, celebrity crush or whatever, would not even look at them twice. The same black women, the darker skin or brown skin, which is mostly the black women that support these black celebrities, they would not give them a time or day. They don't even view you as beautiful, all right? Oh, I love Idris Elba, Idris Elba, he's so fine. Idris Elba is engaged to a pretty light skin young thing okay so unless you're a uh, lighter skin mix with longer hair and a nice shape and a nice everything else then he wouldn't look at you twice and some of these rappers and entertainers have been blunt about this sentiment i believe the, the rapper glock nine i haven't really heard of him only way i heard of him because this interview went viral he is quoted saying i am already dark what i look like with a dark bitch he also mentioned that he doesn't want a dark baby. <laughs> uh, and then the one, the more uh, notable one, or the one that went the most viral is when Kodak Black said he doesn't like women with his skin color. He prefers a lighter skinned woman. He straight out said it, and that went all viral, and people were outraged. He had to come back and try to clarify his statements. But he meant what he meant. And a lot of these guys are basically saying it. Not only are they saying it about who they're choosing to uh, date or marry or whatnot, but they're saying it in, in everybody's face. But a lot of the people that support them when they come up, a lot of people that still listen to their music, a lot of people still watch their movies, or whatever the case may be, a lot of people that support them are brown skin, darker skin, black women, Okay. Most black women do not look like the black women that are all over Instagram and on the arms of these successful black men. <laughs> look up any of your favorite black male celebrities. Just Google them. And I guarantee you 90 to 95% of them gonna have either a white woman or a lighter skinned other race, Latino or biracial type woman on their own. That's why I say a lot of these lighter skinned women are really just undercover white women for the successful black man. And don't get it twisted. I believe that you can be with whoever you want to be with. 
I'm not making that argument. I'm not saying because a black man becomes successful, he has to date a darker skinned woman. I'm just saying that why are all these successful black men dating or uh, marrying women with the same features? It kind of seems weird to me. This is the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Ramos Berry on out.